Hey guys, what is up, what's going on? It's your girl Ashley, welcome back to the channel. So today I am in front of my new backdrop. A lot of you guys were telling me that you really liked my last kind of like no backdrop setup because it's a little bit more homey and it's a little bit more personal, so. Hey, do you like it? Let me know in the comments down below. We kind of just threw her together, let's be real. Anyways, today's video is one of those 10 minute makeup tutorials that's gonna get you out the door, but you're also gonna look like you tried. You're gonna look awake, you're gonna look put together, you're gonna look like this, pretty much in simpler terms. So if you guys are all about it, which I know you guys are because you've been requesting this video non-stop on my channel, so here you go. Here you go. Subscribe if you guys haven't already by pressing that subscribe button and also don't forget to click that bell so that you guys are notified anytime I upload a new video, which is three times a week, every single week. Who said it with me, hmm? Anyways, I love you. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. I am back at you with another back to school video. Honestly, guys, I am super stoked, super excited. I'm not going to ramble too much in this video because I do want to give you guys some tips and tricks along the way. So first and foremost, when you are in a rush, you can either skip primer or you can apply primer. Personally, if I'm gonna put on any makeup, I have to put on primer, so even if I'm in a rush, it's something that I know I have to do. So depending on your skin type, I definitely recommend going in with some kind of primer. I do have two primers right here. This one is an illuminating primer, and this one is a skin smoothing primer. So if you have dull skin, you wanna go in with an illuminating primer, and if you have uneven skin texture or you struggle with pores or anything like that, I definitely recommend going in with some kind of smoothing primer, because it is going to really even out that canvas, so that your foundation lays on a lot nicer. Gonna just squirt some out. Ew, squirt. <laughs> That's a weird word. But I'm just gonna take this primer and just smooth it right here in the very center of the face. One of the main reasons I really like this smoothing primer by CoverGirl is because it's going to smooth, but it's also going to hydrate my skin at the same time. And it really just makes my skin so silky smooth. Primer takes all of like two seconds. It's a step that's not gonna take up too much time. Since our primary focus is the skin and not the eyes, I do want my skin to be very dewy, glowy, and natural. So I will be going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. This one is in the shade 207 Sand Beige. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this on the very back of my hand. And one of the biggest tips I can give you if you're in a rush is to use a brush. In a rush? Use a brush. Ah! <laughs> No, but seriously, a brush is gonna be a lot faster than using a damp sponge because you're not gonna have to wet it. All you have to do is just go in with the foundation and apply it to your face. The brush I'm using to apply the foundation is a Morphe M439. So one of the main reasons I like to use this brush to apply my foundation when I'm in a rush is because it is extremely big. Like look how big this foundation brush is. She's on another level. I'm able to really just cover all of my blemishes really, really quickly as opposed to kind of like dabbing my sponge all over my face, you know? So that's why I love this brush. I feel like once I start blending out this foundation, you could just see how beautiful it looks on the skin. Like it actually looks like skin and that's what we want. In my last back to school video, I did skip concealer completely. I was reading through the comments and a lot of you guys said, I can't skip concealer because of my super dark under eye circle. So if it's something that you can't skip, I definitely recommend the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This is perfect for dark circles. I will be using the shade Neutralizer directly underneath my eyes. Now, personally, I always recommend going in with a concealer that either has a wand to it or a sponge tip applicator like this because if you are going to go in with more of a potted concealer it is going to take you a lot longer simply because you are going to have to open it up you're going to have to dip your finger in you're going to have to warm up the product and then put it directly underneath your eyes so if you are in a rush i definitely recommend something like this or a wand so that way you can easily just apply it underneath the eyes and blend it out the brush i'm going to use to blend out my concealer is the morphe g8 i love the tulip shape of this brush because it fits directly underneath my eyes is making it extremely quick and easy to blend out. I'm also gonna take a little bit of this concealer directly over my eyes to color up any discoloration or veinage. Following concealer and powder, I always recommend setting down with some kind of powder. I don't care how much of a rush you're in, you always wanna set down with the powder. So I will be using this powder right here by Milani. This is the Conceal and Define powder. I really like it because it gives me amazing coverage. I'm gonna use that same brush for the sake of timing, and I'm just gonna kind of patch the foundation all over. 
the face to set everything down and in place. And what this powder is really doing is it's going to set everything in place and ensure that I do not get shiny throughout the day because trust me when I tell you, that is not a good look. I'm also gonna take some powder and put it directly on top of my eyelids. And the reason I'm doing that is because typically when you apply concealer on your eyelids, they will crease. So in order to prevent that concealer from creasing, you want to set it down with a powder. And since we aren't going in with any eyeshadow, it's important that you use your face powder to kind of set that area down and in place. After setting my entire face down with that Milani powder, I'm going to go in with the Stay Matte Loose Powder by Rimmel to set directly underneath my eyes. And I'm going to use my same Morphe G8 brush to do that. Now you can use whatever loose powder that you have to set directly underneath your eyes. I'm just using this one from Rimmel because it's one of the only loose powders that I own that's affordable from the drugstore that does not irritate my eyes. The Airspun Loose Powder by Cody does have an extremely strong scent to it. And anytime I use that my eyes just tear up on the very outer corners which is why I really like this one we're now going to work on the brows I am going to use the L'Oreal brow stylist shape and fill which is a little bit more of a thicker brow pencil and I'm using a thicker brow pencil just because I do want to cover more space so I'm just taking it I'm underlining the brow like so and it doesn't have to be super neat but you do have to essentially like stay in the lines and I'm just kind of pressing down as I get towards the tail of the brow to really just define out everything. I definitely feel like my brows is just one of those steps that makes my makeup routine that much longer, but I just can't skip this step because I'll look really, really weird. Like, can you imagine if I went back to school with like this brow right here? Granted, when I look at like my throwback pictures, my eyebrows actually look like this when I was going to school. Like they were hella, hella ashy, but I don't want you guys to make those same mistakes, so definitely fill in your eyebrows. I also recommend utilizing the spoolie on the opposite end of some of these brow products because it allows you to evenly blend out the product so that way it doesn't look super harsh and it gives you a little bit more of kind of a feathered natural effect. Now that brows are done, I'm gonna move on to bronzing. And I say bronzing because we're not really gonna have time to really chisel out those cheekbones or contour or anything like that, especially if we are in a rush. So I'm gonna use this, this is the powder contour palette by Koki. Now you can only find Koki at Walmart in store or online. So I'll have it linked down below in case you guys are interested in it. One thing I do like about the palette is that it is extremely similar to the Kat Von D shade and light palette. Like, do you guys see the similarities? Hmm? Hmm? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this shade and this shade both mixed together on a Morphe M527, which is perfect for bronzing up the skin. I'm gonna tap off a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and just run this right alongside my temples. Now I want you guys to keep in mind that this doesn't have to be perfect. What I'm doing is I'm sticking my brush right here and I'm going in big circular motions just to add a little bit more color to the skin. All right, we're looking somewhat alive. I'm now gonna go in with highlighter. Now I have a few different options right here depending on your price point. We have this one by Maybelline, which is the iconic master chrome highlighter. We have this one by Pixi, which is a little bit more pricey. You can get this at Target. And then we have the super affordable Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighting powder, which we all know and love. Now I will be using the one from Pixi just because I like that one, but these two work just as good. I'll have them both linked down below, but I'm gonna be taking it on a Luxie brush. And one thing I like about highlighter is that it kind of makes it look like you tried a little bit harder than you actually did. So if you are in a rush, pop a little bit of highlighter onto your cheeks for more of a natural looking glow. It's really gonna give you that kind of like glowing from within effect and it's gonna make you look really, really pretty. Now I am using a brush like this from Luxie just because it is a little bit more of like a bigger brush. So I can kind of blend it down into my bronzer. So that way it gives me more of like that bronzy looking glow, which I'm all about. Oh, do you see my highlight though? Honey, I'm glowing. I'm also gonna pop some right here on my nose and my cupid's bow. Another thing you can do to make you look wide awake is take a brush like this. This is a Morphe M507 with a little bit of highlighter on it. Spray it with a little bit of setting spray or fix plus, whatever it is that you guys have at home and pop it right here in the very inner corner. What this is gonna do, it's gonna draw forth light and it's gonna make you look wide awake. And to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of mascara. This is the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. This is Bay All Day and I'm gonna coat 
my lashes. One thing you can also do is go like side to side to give it a little bit more volume. You wanna wiggle it from the base of the lash all the way to the tips to give you volume and length. So I definitely wanna tell you guys a little story about mascara. I didn't wear any in high school. I would put on foundation, concealer, powder, and I would skip mascara completely. And you can see like all the powder sitting on my eyelashes. I actually had a girl in my class tell me, hey, you have something on your eyelash? I think you got foundation on your eyelashes. And I just look crazy. Like, can you imagine? No, I don't want you to imagine because I looked a hot mess. Do not skip mascara even if you're running late. You can also pop on some nude liner to make you look a little more awake. Like so, it literally took me like 2.5 seconds. And to finish things off, we're gonna apply a lip color. Now you can do one or two things. You can just go in with gloss or you can go in with a lipstick and a lip gloss, but if you don't like either or, I definitely recommend going in with like a liquid lipstick or something like that because it isn't a lash you all throughout the day. I personally, I don't get down with liquid lipsticks like that. So if I was gonna go back to school and I wanted something on my lips, I would go for something that's like a little bit more natural looking like a lip gloss. So I'm gonna take this lipstick by Flower Beauty. This one is in the shade Warm Nude and it is just that, a really pretty warm nude shade. And I'm gonna pop this all over. I am gonna to top off with a gloss. This is in collaboration with I Love Set E in the shade Atole. I really, really do love this gloss. Now you can find ColourPop at Ulta. They do have their glosses for about $5 or so, and they are pretty affordable. And if you have just like a little bit more time, I definitely recommend going in with some kind of blush just to add a flush of color to the cheeks. This is by Koki. I really like it because it has three different shades. We have a light, a medium, and also a deeper shade. What I like to do is just take a brush like this, a fluffy one, run it through all the shades, and then I'll just go in really quick, give it a smile, like a little mm -mm, and hit my cheeks to add a little bit of color. And just like that, you guys, this is the final and completed look. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you guys like beginner videos? Do you guys like kind of like this back to school kick I've been on? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's definitely have a conversation. I'm going to be responding to comments within the first hour that this video goes up. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, follow me over on Instagram. I've been doing a lot of giveaways over there and I am plotting like some back to school goodness. So if you guys want to win some stuff for back to school, give me a follow. <laughs> With that guys, I don't have much else to say except subscribe if you guys haven't already. Click that bell to turn on your post notifications because I upload three new videos every single week, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and you guys don't want to miss out on it. I love you, and until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces. All right, you guys made it to the very end of the video. Whoa, ring light. Back up ring light. What'd you guys think of the video? Let me know if you guys liked it. Give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out. Let's actually see if we can get this video to 5,000 likes. Click the subscribe button if you guys haven't already and also watch some of my other videos. Back to school and eh, eh. until next time, goodbye. <laughs>